of Crafty Nerd 0525 and today I have another Rainbow Loom tutorial for you. I'm going to be showing you how to make the Starburst bracelet and the one that I'm featuring right now is white, black, and translucent blue. So let's go ahead and get started. The things you're going to be needing are your Rainbow Loom, your hook, some sort of closure, and I'm today going to be using my S-clip. And you're going to need at least, you're going to need at least two two to three colors of bands, but I'm going to be using seven colors of bands. I'm using white for my border, and I'm using assorted colors for my starburst. So let's go ahead and get started. For the first part of this tutorial, you're going to be doing the outline bands. In my case, I'm going to be using white. So you're going to go from your center pin, and you're going to go out to the right, and then you're going to go all the way up and in. Here's how that should look. So now you're going to go ahead and do the same thing, except on the other side. So here's the end of the perimeter bands, and now we're going to go ahead and move on to the starbursts. So to make the starburst, you're going to take your first color, and you're going to go up one from the end of your perimeter, and you're going to go out to the right, from the middle out to the right. And you're going to keep doing this clockwise. This part is fairly easy, but it can be a little confusing at times, I warn you. And believe me, it only gets more confusing. So I'm really sorry if I'm not making much sense to you. I'm trying my hardest here. And now you're going to repeat this same exact step. Here's how that should be looking. Now we're going to move on to the capping bands. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your border colors, and mine was white, and you're going to put, you're going to stretch out your band and you're going to put two fingers in it. You're going to twist it and then put it on both of your fingers. And then you're going to put it on the end. And then you're going to start putting them in the center of every single starburst. And you are not going to put one on this end. You're not going to do that end. Only that end will be getting a capping band. I'm going to show you one more time. Two fingers, twist, put on, center. Continue this. Here's how it should look once you place all the capping bands. Now we're going to move on to hooking, and this is the most confusing part of the video, so you're really going to want to pay attention. And this does take a lot of trial and error, so please don't get frustrated if you can't get it. First thing we're going to do is flip around our loom so that the arrows are pointing away from you. And you're going to go under your capping band, and you're going to grab whatever color your starburst is, and you're going to bring it up and forwards. Now we're going to go ahead and go under your starburst, and this part is kind of hard. You have to push away all the bands except the bottom one. You take off the bottom, and you're going to bring it to whatever band it was. And you're going to take the next one and bring it up. And you're going to keep doing this until you make it perfect, I guess. Now I have one more band I have to put on. It does take a little stretching. And I'm going to show you this one more time. You're going to go under this and bring up that one. You're going to go under all your bands, grab your bottom one, if I can get it off, there we go, and bring it forward. Continue this all the way around your loom. So I just finished hooking the starburst, and that's how that looks. And now we're going to start hooking the perimeter bands. So you're going to go under your cap band and you're going to grab, you're going to want to hold your capping band and then grab whichever band is on the bottom, which is going to be your left, and you're going to hook it around just like you would a single um, bracelet. And then you're going to keep doing this until you reach the end. If I can get mine up, I could show you again. There we go. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So go under your capping band, grab the band, and go to the right this time. Go under all your bands. Oops, I grabbed the one I want. There you go. Grab the bottom and bring it forward. I can get my hook out. 
So I just finished hooking and this is how it looks. Now what you're going to do is take your hook and a band. You're going to put the band on the hook just like that. Well, actually not yet. I lied. Um, you're going to go under, you're going to flip your loom back around so that's back to normal. And you're going to go under all these bands, bring out your hook, take your extension collar, bring it up and put it on. And then you're going to pull this off your loom. It is a little tough, I'm going to tell you that. Now we're going to start our extension. For my extension, I'm going to be using eight bands. So what you're going to do is take your collar and you're going to go up eight down the center collar. This is how that looked. Now you're going to stretch this out, out your um, bracelet. And you're going to take the end that was on your hook and you're going to put it between your two fingers just for safety. And then you're going to put it on like this. Now we're going to start hooking. So flip your loom around. You're going to just go ahead and do a single chain. Here's how that should look. Now you're almost done. You're going to take your last one and you're not going to peel it up very much. Only the last one. And you're going to stretch it from here to one of the sides. And it doesn't matter which side. This just makes it easier to put on your clip. And you're going to take whatever clip you're going to use, and again, I'm using my S-clip. And you're just going to clip it on so that it will stay on when you do it off. And then you're going to take this off. Whoops, and my thing just fell off. Sorry about that. Now I fixed it, and I have that on. And you're going to take your end, and you're just going to stick it on. And there you go. You have your very own Rainbow Loom Starburst bracelet. I hope you guys really like this. And yeah, it would be great if you guys could leave a thumbs up. Bye. Thanks for watching and keep on crafting.